What if I told you that a giant Japanese watchmaking powerhouse has been giving Swiss brands a run for their money since 1881? In this video, we're diving deep into the incredible histories and achievements of Seiko and Orient, two pioneers of Japanese watchmaking who took the industry by storm with their innovation and craftsmanship. You'll learn how they've grown from their humble beginnings to becoming fierce competitors in the global watch market. Take advantage of the thrilling face-off at the end of the video where we put Seiko and Orient head-to-head -to, -head to reveal which brand truly stands out and takes the title of best Japanese watch. Swiss watches have long held a prestigious position in the world of horology. But did you know that two incredible Japanese brands, Seiko and Orient, have been challenging this dominance for decades? How did these two brands rise to prominence? And what does their journey tell us about the resilience of Japanese watchmaking? Let's find out! Our story begins on the bustling streets of central Tokyo, Japan in 1881. A young entrepreneur, Kintaro Hattori, at the age of 21, opened a shop selling and repairing watches and clocks. This marked the beginning of the legendary Seiko brand. Meanwhile, Orient's journey started in 1950 with the founding of Tamakiki Co. Limited. The company was rechristened as Orient Watch Company Limited in 1951 and Orient Star was born. But how did these two distinct brands come together under one umbrella? And what made them stand out in a fiercely competitive market? Well, in 2001, Orient became a subsidiary of the Seiko Watch Organization, and in 2009, Seiko assumed majority control. Despite this, Orient retained its unique emblem and identity. Over the years, Orient has established itself as one of the top watchmakers of diver timepieces. Now, let's take a step back and appreciate the birth of Grand Seiko and Orient Star, two incredible sub-brands that have become integral parts of their respective companies. In 1960, Grand Seiko burst onto the scene as a formidable challenger to the Swiss watchmaking giants, showcasing the epitome of Japanese precision and artistry. The iconic Grand Seiko first kicked off this incredible legacy, produced in limited quantities and setting the stage for a new era in Japanese watchmaking. This 35mm hand-wound masterpiece boasted an elegant round design, sturdy lugs and the ground-breaking calibre 3180, achieving an awe-inspiring accuracy of plus 12 to minus 3 seconds per day. Fast forward to today, and the Grand Seiko SLGA021 from Watches and Wonders 2023, priced at $9,100, stands tall as the brand's crowning achievement. Its mesmerizing dial captures the enchanting dark blue hues of Lake Sewer's gentle waves, drawing you into its serene embrace. Under the hood, the latest caliber 9RA2 Spring Drive 5 Days Movement provides a jaw-dropping 120-hour power reserve when fully wound. But hold on to your hats, folks. Grand Seiko has yet another ace up its sleeve. The revolutionary Tentograph mechanical complication. Powered by the ultra-precise caliber 9SCS that beats 10 times per second, this automatic timepiece runs for an impressive three days straight, even with the chronograph in operation. Priced at $13,700, the Tentograph is Grand Seiko's latest innovation that will make watch enthusiasts and the brand's craftsmen swell with pride upon its release. On the other hand, Orient Star emerged with a clear mission – to craft exceptional timepieces that outshine the competition, making every second count. At its core, the brand focuses on delivering the three joys of Orient Star ownership. The pleasure to wear embodies the comfortable fit, sleek design and high-quality materials that make every Orient Star timepiece a joy on your wrist. Delight to see encompasses visually stunning aesthetics, including intricate details, beautiful dials, and eye-catching designs that set Orient Star watches apart. Finally, Joy of Connections highlights the emotional connection wearers develop with their Orient Star watches as they become part of their life story and treasured memories. The first watch to exemplify these ideals was the original Orient Star, which set the stage for the brand's enduring legacy of excellence. This groundbreaking dress watch timepiece, showcased in steel together with one of the first chronometers, is Orient Star's start of commitment to creating watches that not only stood the test of time, but also captured the hearts of watch enthusiasts worldwide. Today, the Orient Star contemporary skeleton model truly shines as one of the most exceptional skeleton watches available, boasting a notable price tag of $3,330. This sophisticated timepiece features a 39mm diameter stainless steel case in only 10.8mm height with an intricate and detailed skeletonized dial. The dial elements are tinted grey with a dial side movement decorated in pearlage, resulting in a minimalistic yet captivating design. 
The blue hour, minute, small seconds and power reserve hands contrast sharply against the grey background, ensuring that reading the time is always effortless. Powering the Orient Star Skeleton is the hand-wound in-house caliber F8B61 movement with a 70-hour power reserve, making it the perfect blend of professional and leisure existing within our modern lives. Now that we've covered the fascinating history of Seiko and Orient, let's dive into a head-to-head -head comparison on complications, water resistance and design of these two legendary brands. So, which one will emerge as the ultimate Japanese watchmaker? Let's start by looking at the complications these brands offer. While both Seiko and Orient have unique offerings, their approaches differ. Seiko, for instance, is not known for complications at lower price points, meaning that they would instead focus on the materials of the product and the higher-end consumers of the market. However, they strategically implement complications in specific models, ensuring that they maintain their reputation for quality and functionality. It all started in 1969 with the Seiko Speed Timer, which is known to be one of the world's first automatic chronographs. Featuring the Calibre 6139, whose precision made a real advancement in elapsed time measurement, was an important milestone in the history of chronography. Another example of Seiko's innovation can be found in the Seiko Astron collection, which features the world's first GPS solar watch. With just a touch of a button, the watch adjusts itself to the correct time, no matter your location. This remarkable timepiece relies solely on light energy, eliminating the need for battery changes altogether. This is just one of the many instances where Seiko cleverly incorporates complications into their watches, striking a perfect balance between form and function. Also, the brand is particularly renowned for its power reserve indicators, which can typically display a range of up to 40 to 50 hours of remaining power in Seiko's entry-level automatic watches, while some higher-end models boast even longer power reserves. On the other hand, Orient is notorious for its complications, even in their more affordable range. You can find Orient watches under $200 with power reserve indicators, a feature typically reserved for luxury watches. With Orient Star, the implementation of numerous complications continues. The Orient Star GMT, priced between $729 and $932 online, features both a power reserve and a GMT indicator. For example, other models like the Orient Star Retrograde feature a power reserve indicator, date display, and a unique retrograde day indicator. At the same time, the Orient Star World Time boasts a 24-hour indicator, a world time function, and a date display, both with complications that don't appear cluttered or noisy. Many watch enthusiasts believe that Orient pulls off these intricate designs better than Seiko. These impressive timepieces typically fall within the $500 to $1,000 price range, offering remarkable value for their level of craftsmanship and functionality. Now let's dive into the water resistance of these two brands. Orient's Ray 2 is marked as water resistant up to 200 meters, which is a respectable rating. However, it's not technically an ISO 6425 compliant dive watch. To be ISO 6425 compliant, a watch must undergo rigorous testing, including being submerged in water for 50 hours and placed on a heating plate with temperatures over 100 degrees Fahrenheit without condensation forming inside the crystal. In contrast, Seiko's SKX007 is labelled as Divers 200 meters and proudly holds the ISO 6425 certification. This distinction makes the SKX007 suitable for professional scuba diving, ensuring it can withstand the demands of underwater activities and extreme conditions. Grand Seiko also offers ISO 6425 certified dive watches, such as the Grand Seiko Spring Drive Divers Watch, which provides exceptional precision and durability, making it an ideal choice for professional divers. Now let's move on to design, where these brands showcase their distinctive style and personalities. Seiko's cocktail time design is beautiful yet conservative. It follows the traditions of minimalist dress watches, keeping the dial uncluttered, simple and elegant. The cocktail time is intended for highly formal occasions. On the other hand, Orient Sun and Moon pushes the boundaries of dress watch design with a medley of subdials rich with complications. The Sun and Moon is executed with sophistication and the overall layout is contemporary and eye-catching. As a result, this Orient model is much more versatile and can be worn with any outfit. In summary, both Seiko and Orient have their specialities in classic design and elegance. If you're searching for a more traditional, timeless piece, Orient might be the preferable choice. However, if you're interested in a more innovative, trend-setting timepiece, Seiko should be your focus. It's clear that the Seiko Group, with its leading brands like Grand Seiko and Orient, is on the rise. They have leveled up their innovation and style and have years of experience and mastery that rival any watch company worldwide.
So it's only a matter of time before these Japanese watchmakers gain the same recognition and prestige as their Swiss counterparts. And remember, with either brand, you're getting a timepiece that's backed by a rich history, mastery of craftsmanship, and a dedication to innovation. So, which one will you choose?